What's up guys, today's top five is how to game on a budget. Oh, it's Friday night. Don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. I could sit here and pick my nose while I watch a brand new video. Oh, oh. Top by Friday. Top by Friday tonight. Number five, borrow. This probably goes without saying, but obviously if your friend has, has a game that you've been wanting to play, you just be like, yo, can I get the game when you're done? Let me borrow it. Number four, trade. Now I know some companies out there don't always give the best trade value, but if you got old shit laying around, trade it in for whatever new is coming out that you do want. Number three, uh, this is kind of a little bit of a scumbag move because you can abuse the system, but uh, return policies. GameStop has a return policy where basically if it's a used item, you can return it in seven days, no questions asked. Uh, yes, I've been guilty of this. I've abused this system before, but when you're broke as shit and you want to play some video games, you go get the game, you play it, you platinum it, you whatever you get your gamer score, 100,000 achievement points or whatever the fuck XCOG does, and then you just take it back and you get another game. It's that simple. Number two, ask for it for gifts. Birthdays, holidays, graduation, whatever, just had sex day. Hey, what do you want? Oh, I want a video game. You get other people to buy your games for you because they're gonna get you something anyways. It may as well be something you want. The number one way to game on a budget, I call this the layaway plan. So if you go to GameStop, $5 gets you the, the reserve. It guarantees you the game. Um, if you know well in advance the game is coming out, what game you want, you can reserve it, you can go in, Every paycheck, put $5 on it, put $10 on it. If you had a good week at work, put $20 on it until eventually it gets paid off. Back in my younger days, I did this all the time. Hey, you know, I gotta have this game. Here's five bucks, here's reserve. Okay, let me come back in, you know, next in two weeks in the paycheck, I can throw 10 more dollars down on it. All right, two weeks after that, I can throw $15 down. Two weeks after that, I got another five on it. Eventually you'll get the game paid off and it's in very tiny, small increments, so it doesn't really hurt your, your wallet that much. So that's my top five ways on how to game on a budget. Maybe you agree with me, maybe you don't. Put your top five down below. Um, as always, you got a subject you wanna hear my top five on, put it in the comments. If I like it, I'll make a video. The Lindy, the lender, the lender. Ah, whatever. Give me, you know, it don't have to be too. Uh.